if you've done much digging into Nashville and the different neighborhoods, you've definitely heard of the Gulch by now. So today we're going to go over uh, the Gulch, what all there is to do there, um, the location of it. It is in a prime location with lots of restaurants, uh, shops, and boutiques, and all kinds of stuff. So if you're interested to know more about the Gulch, stay tuned. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is Tiffany Gudger with Tiffany Gudger Real Estate right here in Nashville, Tennessee. If this is your first time to our channel. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, make sure and go ahead and hit subscribe and click that little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video if you wanna know everything about eating, sleeping, breathing, breathing leave, living, playing, all the things there is to do here in Nashville. Uh, I go over them every week. And uh, I would love to help you guys out if you are considering moving here. You know, I love making these videos, but my favorite thing is to help people with relocating and purchasing uh, homes here in the Nashville and Middle Tennessee area. So if you have any questions about any of this, uh, make sure you go ahead and give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, days, nights, weekends. Uh, I've got your back when you are moving or relocating to the Nashville and Middle Tennessee areas. So. Today we are going to talk about one of my favorite areas in downtown uh, Nashville. It's popular with locals and tourists alike because there's so much to do there. It's an amazing location and that would be the Gulch. So the Gulch is actually an old abandoned industrial area. It was a railroad yard uh, before the Civil War. And for a long time there really wasn't much to do there. Um, but now it is considered one of Nashville's hottest neighborhoods. It has a prime location close to downtown, um, and it's super close to interstates, and it is jam-packed for its size. It's not a super big area, but for the size, it has so much to offer. So as far as the actual location goes, um, it is right in the heart of Nashville, just south of downtown, and you can see it's close to interstates and pretty much just smack dab in the middle of everything you could possibly want to be at. You can uh, get to downtown really quickly, you can get to Broadway, you're less than a mile from all kinds of different areas like Sobro, Midtown, all of that. So location wise is a big reason why it has become so popular. As far as living in the Gulch goes, uh, there is a lot of townhomes, condos, apartments, that kind of um, city living feel. Um, both to purchase and to rent. So it's super popular with renters and buyers. And towards the end of the video, we're actually gonna go over the cost of these things. Now onto my favorite topic of any area that we talk about is eating. I love groceries. And when I say groceries, I just mean food in general. <laughs> I love going and trying new restaurants and trying new things. Um, it's something that we make a point of here in our house. My fiance and I, um, we try to try something new um, at least once a month. Um, our schedules get a little crazy, but so we say at least once a month and more often would be better. But the Gulch is a great area to go and try new restaurants. They have places like LA Jackson's, uh, which has one of the best rooftop bars and an amazing view of downtown, uh, milk and honey for brunch or biscuit love where there is always a long line there. It is definitely worth the wait, but just know You'll probably be waiting in line for a while. There is the pub for great Irish food and beer, um, amazing fish and chips. Uh, and they have, you know, bangers and mash and all that kind of stuff too. A little Americanized, but really, really good um, uh, Irish food. Emmy Squared for pizza. Uh, Cane Prime, which is one of my all-time favorite steakhouses in Nashville, is in the Gulch. And they have... Oh my gosh, if you're looking for an upscale steakhouse, I highly, highly recommend Cane Prime. Next, we have Saint Anejo for premier Mexican food. Party Fowl, which has some of my favorite hot chicken in all of Nashville. And I know that's a little biased to say. I'm going to get some heat and some feedback on that one because Hattie B's is great. Bolton's is great. Prince's is great. But I really do love Party Fowl. It has an amazing uh, atmosphere about it. And so uh, Party Fowl... Um, I like their hot chicken and cheddar sandwich. Go try it out. But yeah, it is in the Gulch as well. There is also ramen and Indian food in the Gulch, as well as several uh, really good coffee shops, not just Starbucks. So 
And that's just to name a few. There's more out there, uh, but that's just a couple of the eating possibilities and restaurants in the Gulch. As far as shopping goes, there are a lot of boutiques and really cool shops. Um, there is Kittenish by Jesse James, Uncommon James by Kristen Cavallari, Blush Boutique, Vintage Guitar Store, Urban Outfitters, the Turnip Truck, which is a natural and local grocery store. Pet Wants Pet Store for all you pet lovers out there like uh, myself. We have two dogs and I love uh, anything uh, pet related. So they have good natural food and toys and that kind of stuff. And there's also a liquor store, a cigar shop, um, a vintage guitar store. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff out there. Um, and I just... I, I couldn't name them all <laughs> off the top of my head, but there's lots of shopping to do in the Gulch as well. When it comes to things to do in the Gulch, um, there are na nail and massage and hair salons, of course, for all you ladies out there. Um, the Gulch has some great murals. If you're not aware, uh, Nashville is known for having some really great murals for good uh, Instagram pictures. And um, two of the big popular ones in the Gulch include the What Lifts You Wings and the Jason Woodside mural. At the Gulch is also the Frist Art Museum, which has rotating um, uh, artists come through there and different things each month. I think they change it every couple months um, so that even if you live here, um, you can see something different all throughout the year, which I absolutely love that. Um, you never get tired of the rotating things that come through Frist Art Museum. Um, you can walk to Midtown or Broadway, which I mentioned earlier, and then again, lots of things to do there. Um, as far as nightlife goes in the Gulch, there is Bar Louie, uh, The Pub, which we previously mentioned, um, Whiskey Kitchen, um, Hops and Craft Tap Room, um, which is a beer lover's dream. <laughs> um, if you guys like to try craft beer or beer on draft, definitely check that place out. Um, there is Sambuca, which is another great restaurant, uh, and they provide live music. Um, you can get more live music at Rudy's Jazz Room or the Station Inn if you want to check out some bluegrass. Okay, so now that we've gone over kind of all there is to do there and what it offers, and trust me, there's a lot of things I'm leaving out. This could, you know, be a 30-minute video if I wanted it to be. Um, but this is just kind of a brief overview. If you have any specific questions, make sure you comment down below. Let me know. I'm here to help however I can. Um, but I've got my notes here with some numbers um, to go over the uh, prices of properties. And as of the filming of this video, median home sales over the last two months is $680,000. Um, current listings are anywhere from Four hundred to eight million dollars right now. Like that's not a norm. There's not an eight million dollar property for sale in the Gulch at all times. But as of right now, we have everything from four hundred thousand up to eight million dollars. Um, and the average rent for a one bedroom in the Gulch is about eighteen hundred dollars. And again, a lot of this is because of the convenience and the location. I mean, location in real estate is pretty much everything. Um, so the location of this being what it is, is what contributes to those prices being where they're at. Um, so if any other questions about properties in the Gulch or anywhere else here in Nashville and Middle Tennessee, please let me know. Um, again, I am here to help however I can, but you have to reach out. Otherwise, I won't know. Um, so feel free, again, to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. I am the one that answers, um, and I will get back with you as soon as possible. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And until the next video, guys, we'll catch you later.